video blog. I haven't done one in a couple of days just because so much been going on. Uh, I was really upset with my birthday party thing on Sunday. My birthday Monday pretty much just worked. Uh, and I did go to lunch and stuff with my brother, which was, which, which was nice, you know. And to me, stuff like that is what's important. Not a, a, not money or gifts on your birthday, but doing something with friends and family. Someone who takes a few minutes of their time and does something with you. Because nothing's more precious than time. You know, it's very limited. It's not like you can buy more. You know, there's two things in this world that we can never make more of. One is land. The other is, I guess, time. I don't know. I guess you can't. There's lots of can't make. Whatever. Who cares? The point is, my birthday wasn't the worst one I've ever had. The night before sucked. Sucked so bad, but the, uh, the actual party was that. I had a lot of people call me. Uh, you know, wasn't the people that I wanted to call me. I mean, I wanted people to call me, but, you know, there's. I still had some, some people in my family didn't even call me. You know, a couple friends didn't call me. You know, and then I got a lot of text. Uh, I think a phone call is better than a text. A text is so impersonal, but, you know, hey, you know, it's just a thought that counts. So, and then, uh, I even had some people make me a video. Uh, three people. And that, to me, is, like, really, really awesome. That's a great little gift, because that takes your time, you know, it takes some effort, it's, it's a little harder than a, a text or a phone call, you know, you have to actually put some effort forth, and that's amazing, and, uh, I know, NASCAR Alice, man, I was so upset Sunday night, and I come home, and she was on AIM, and I talked to her on AIM for a while, and then we watched, I was watching the same movie she was, so we was like, you know, talking about the movie or whatever, and I don't know, it was just nice. You know, she took my mind completely off the fact that everything sucked. So, thank you so much, Allison. Thank you so much. Uh, so, where else, what else, what else? Monday night, <clears throat> uh, I came home and I was talking to Blair Garner. He does, uh, I wasn't talking talk to Blair Garner, but uh, Blair Garner has a show called After Midnight. And he's on, like, I think midnight till 6 a.m. or something. And his producer, Tim, I think it's his producer, yeah. I was talking to him on AIM while they was at the show. And I had sent Larry Garner one of my shirts. And he's like, he really, really, really loved it. So, or liked it, loved it, I guess. I don't know. Which is really awesome. Yeah. If, if you can, you should check it out, okay? I've heard one or two of his shows when I wasn't around my area, like outside of my area. Cause I can't get, the, I don't get it where I, where I live. I don't have it. Our radio station doesn't have it. But it's everywhere else. I don't know. I don't get it. So, really fun show. Blair Garner, he rules. Uh, what else? All right now I'm on my way to go work out with Josie. Actually, she she works out way more than I do. I pretty much suck at it. Um, I've been having a problem with a friend who's been like really really down lately, and I honestly just don't know what to do to cheer her up. I just I don't know what to do. I feel so bad because I know they're in like a shitload of pain, <clears throat> and I have absolutely no idea what to do for him. None. None whatsoever. I'm so confused and never felt so useless because I like to help people. Okay, I feel bad when I can't help people. And that's what I like to do, help people. I feel good when I help people. That's like my my high, you know? I don't know. It's like my drug. 
I crave the feeling that I get when I actually help someone. It makes me feel alive. So, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. Uh, I worked last night. Last night was, uh, it was a decent night at work. About time. We've been really dead at work, so. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I did the gym thing. Went pretty well. It was fun. It's really awesome going to the gym with a friend because then you can just chit chat. It makes the time go by so much faster. But I'm coming home, uh, trying to sing a couple songs, and it is 12:09. 12:09, people, and I just seen a freaking hooker out on the street. I know she's a hooker because. I see her every night coming home. And you know what? She's like two blocks from a damn school. Where in the hell are the cops at, man? Shouldn't they be like stopping that crap? I mean, there should not be hookers allowed nowhere near a damn school. That's just pathetic. So, I'm going to go in, try to upload this video, take a nap, and go to work. Bye.